and of course it would cut out so we have a part one and we have a part two but basically um how do you feel about sharing passwords with your partner um for some of you spirit is advising this is not just a partner for some of you this is the energy of someone who is hiding something on a device again um maybe for some of you this has to do with someone who has vices maybe for some of you you're supporting a parent through a difficult time maybe someone went through a divorce a separation and their spending needs to be investigated so how do you feel about sharing passwords for some of you when this energy comes in when this question comes in it's usually because someone's hiding something so for some of you again it could be a mother figure it could be an older female around you it came in strong this morning with an older females energy this could be a father figure take it how it resonates this could be someone again for some of you it could be your partner for some of you it could be your partner's mother for some of you it could be your ex-partner's mother for some of you um spirits advising that um someone's spending be investigated or what they're investing in or maybe looking at their dark web activities because we have seen that for some of you dark web activities present and people doing evil shit because i am also getting um uh directed energy weapon energy again 0111 0111 111 and everybody's gonna go their separate ways this is gonna be successful it's gonna bring in a new beginning so for some of you um Spirit is advising you to either ask about spending history or maybe do some investigation yourself. It's very important for some of you because uh, someone's up to some sketchy stuff. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Um, so for me, for Truth Nunez, how do you feel about sharing passwords with your partner? No problem, my love. Take it. Um, what is one dream you have yet to accomplish? I have so many dreams that I have yet to accomplish. For some of you, you want to be a millionaire, my lovies. For some of you, you're going to be a millionaire. For some of you, it's coming and you want to be a millionaire, you're going to be a millionaire. For some of you, you are going to be a millionaire. It's not something that you're like fluffing, like fake affirmations. You are actually, for some of you, you want to be a millionaire because you're going to be a, uh, you're going to be, a, for some of you, a stewardess is in the field. Something about a stewardess is coming in. Um... The stewardess energy has been out, uh, in and out. Ally, something about Allison, something about an ally in a situation, something about an alley, like an alleyway, um, something about an alley cat. I'm seeing the movie Alley Cat Strike, bowling, for some of you, bowling. For some of you, um, you're going to be a millionaire not because that's your ultimate goal, but because you've already found your passion. For some of you, um, if you are an artist and you are an aspiring artist, it came in in the preliminary as someone who wants to be a rapper. You need to dedicate yourself to it because for some of you, that is actually in your destiny. Um, Spirit gave it to us like... Um, Kanye West's, Kanye West's lyrics, um, a psychic told me that my name will light up the Chicago skyline. For some of you, you're going to light up the skyline of your city. For some of you, you're actually going to be famous. It, it's, it came in with um, something about ex, exi, esky, something like that. Um, it came in with um, Old Dominion. Old Dominion. It came in with... Um, the energy of a rapper but take it how it resonates because for some of you something about professional bowling is coming in for some of you so take that how it resonates um but um for truth nunez what is one dream you have yet to accomplish um i want to go to egypt i want to go to egypt to play tomb raider i want to go to egypt I want to go to Egypt. I want to go to Sudan. I want to go and 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 visit all of that area, what they call the Horn of Africa. Wait, is the Horn? Yeah, that's the Horn of Africa. No, Horn's on the other side. The, the Ivory Coast. I've been on the Ivory Coast. I want to go um, and research and study the East Coast of Africa. And maybe even into what we call the Middle East. I want to go and explore over there. Have you ever cheated? Have you ever cheated? Technically, no. Technically, I, I said this. For some of you, someone could actually be cheating, and that's maybe why you have to look at their passwords, too. Someone may be cheating not in the way that you think, though, my lovey. Someone may be cheating, like, the way that it came in is, like, trying to sabotage someone or sabotage, like, an opportunity. That's technically cheating so that they can have it or someone else can have it or a family member can have it. Everything is coming in for a reason. Someone has bad habits. I'm getting the song Bad Habits. 
I'm getting Destiny's Child Bad Habit. How many times are you gonna apologize? It's, it's exhausting my throat chakra. 511, about the same things. And how many times can I take you back when I'm not the one that's doing wrong? Every time we make up, we turn around and break up. This can't go on now. I've got to be strong now. It's not the fact that I don't love you no more. I got to break this bad habit. So not only are they not in love anymore, but on top of that, the habit has just become, it's a, it's a codependency. But it may be actually really dangerous. Let's let's look up. Um, let's work with the nothing but the f ish. The nothing but the f ish wants to speak with you. Nothing but the fuck shit wants to speak with you, my lovies. Because for some of you, I am getting deadly attraction, and this is not just one person by themselves. This is a clan that is that are obsessed with the energy of a man. Turn around and break up. Spirit wants us to look at this one. A queen of hearts, a sister, a daughter, or a friend. This could be someone's friend that wants something more. They definitely want to talk to you. A control, a control freak and a manipulator. Someone with control issues. Someone that wants to control someone, 43. But it's just like, I'm just, like, you say, you, you say, yeah, I'm just a friend. Oh, baby, you, you've got what I need. But you say she's just your friend. You say she's just your friend. And I think you have reason to. I think this person's kind of creepy, my lovies. Someone with a dirty dick or a dirty vagina. You say she or he is just a friend and you're saying it for good reason. For some of you, someone, it's like they're trying to fucking force you to be with them. For some of you, this is a friend. For some of you, I think you're learning a really difficult lesson. It's like, are you going to choose your friends or are you going to choose your destiny? Your friends. There are no friends on this planet. That, that word is used very loosely. We are all family. We are family. But some of us don't treat each other like family. Some of us are control freaks and manipulators. We got um, STDs. Not STDs, but for some of you, yeah, STDs. Dirty dick and dirty vaginas. Someone who is fucking arrogant, oversteps their boundaries. We got fucking emperor in the reverse energy here. We got someone who is arrogant as fuck and a control freak with a manipulation. This is a terrible, terrible situation here oversteps boundaries they're getting blocked that's why they're fucking pissed they're getting blocked they're being avoided and ghosted they're falsely accusing people of shit they're trying to do spell work to win you over for some of you um i did get um spirit showed us um there's a there are a few readers on this platform who have like really big big um accounts and i was seeing that earlier today for some of you this is either you in this energy or for some of you you are actually messing around with uh with a high priestess but this person is kind of like in a little bit of jezebel energy um or this person is a sex-based connection with this person for some of you someone could be you could be sleeping with someone who's a channeler or a tarot reader um or has the gift of prophesizing to a certain degree or to to one degree or another um someone's also cool with your brother for some of you um we have seen that for some of you there's a there's an energy worker and this person is doing spell work to win you this person's doing some type of manipulation to win you but you're looking or someone's looking for replacements Someone's sister is involved in a situation as well. Someone's sister's mister is involved in a situation. Something about a mystery man. Something about a secret agent as well for some of you. For some of you, someone who is arrogant is going to falsely accuse you of something. Someone who is very arrogant, very narcissistic is a falsely accusing for some of you this could be an old person for some of you i'm getting queen of spades energy with this for some of you this could be you in this energy my lovies as an older female there's could be an older female around you for some of you 
We also have somebody with a dirty dick or a dirty vagina trying to do manipulations to win you over, trying to force a connection, trying to force a situation. Again, all types of witchcraft and wizardry. This is the type of person that would resort to, for some of you, this escort energy has been very present. And it doesn't have to be an escort in like, someone slept their way to the top. That's how it came in in, in in the preliminary. For some of you, it doesn't have to be an escort in like on the street. But for some of you, uh, an escort in corporate settings, what's, I mean, is it is it any worse than someone who stands on a corner somewhere? I don't think so. It's not any worse or better. It's just, it's the same energy expressing itself in a different environment. Someone's an escort in a corporate environment or in a judicial. Someone could work in government for some of you. They're trying to do spell work to win you, but they have a dirty dick or a dirty vagina. Something about Lahaina. Something about the road to Haina. Maui. So there's a lot of ghosting and blocking energy here. We have at the end of this getting blocked and avoiding and ghosting. The grass is greener wherever you're going. For some of you, you're gonna get a late night call. For some of you, this energy of someone who's pretending to change to come back to you is also present. Or for some of you, this could be you in this energy. But if someone's just an attention seeker, someone keeps giving you calls at night. For some of you, this person's just an attention seeker. They just do this for attention. This is someone that wants to call you late at night who spreads STDs intentionally. Or spreads some type of disease intentionally. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And, so, and something about Emily. Something about a swingers. Oh, shit. Boy. And something about Jerry Springer. I'm getting Jerry Springer. Um, you sprung me, baby. I'll sprung you to Ella. 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 11.51, though. Eight energy. Procedures. Legal procedures, spiritually speaking. All right. What's this dirty dick? You got a face to face. You have news from this person with a dirty dick or a dirty vagina. This person is angry and arrogant as fuck. For some of you, so you're dealing with uh, Sunny. For some of you, Sunny or Sunny is angry and arrogant because they are the blocks on the fucking blocks because they're blocked out. You don't want to talk. Oh, this is over. This is dead. For some of you, you could be learning of the death of somebody. This blonde female, I told you there's a fucking crazy ass blonde female or a bunch of crazy ass wild, wild ones. They're fucking wild. No offense, my lovies. I'm just, they've always been wild since they were fucking children. For some of you, this energy of these young females that you're blocking out or you're not talking to anymore. So they're reverting to fucking dirty antics. I think this is dirty antics spell work to win you over. And they don't just do this to you. That's the, that's the sick part. They don't even, something about return of the Sith. They don't even just do this to you. They do this to a bunch of fucking people. For some of you, these messy young ladies have been very present in your field. Messy young ladies. We do have an angry young man here as well. Or for some of you, you could be uh, you could be dealing with an eligible bachelor. For some of you, you could be listening to this drama of a bunch of females fighting over an eligible bachelor. This person is still too a little too immature for a relationship anyway, but this person is actually secure in themselves. So we have a bunch of ladies like fighting over a man here. This is what it looks like. This is such a turnoff. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We're, we're getting a few different energies. We have a couple of ladies or a few ladies acting like bimbos in limbo fighting over a man with a fucking dirty dick or a dirty vagina. These little ladies also are really shady with their fucking sexual health. I'm just a messenger here. For some of you, these these ruthless teenagers or youngsters, because maybe they're not in their teens, these people could actually be. This is in this present moment. These people are pissed, supposedly. They're arrogant. They act like, they. Spirit's saying they act like sluts. I'm just a messenger. I'm seeing three Mexican females in my mind's eye. That could be significant. 1431. They keep trying to communicate something. They keep trying to send a message, but it keeps getting blocked or they keep getting blocked. 
these are the type of people that start to have like different accounts so like again for some of you take this how it resonates they could they, they, something about raisins something about raisins the little boxes of raisins like the 18 pack or the 20 pack boxes or is it a 10 pack i forgot the boxes of raisins these people can walk around raisins could be significant for some reason um these people something about raisinettes a lot of raisins oatmeal cookies oatmeal raisin cookies this blonde female is a liar for some of you, there's an older blonde female who's a liar and a false accuser and a stalker too. And for some of you, there's a young blonde female who's a liar. They exaggerate things. They overstep their boundaries. This is the type of person like you can feel their fucking energy is off and they try to like approach you that you don't even know them. And it's like, I want to touch you. It's like, no, thank you. Please do not touch me. Don't touch me. You don't even have to ask them, please don't touch me. This is creepy energy and everybody's losing their fucking mind because something is over death energy. It's over, over. It's over, over, over. For some of you, you could be learning of a death. For some of you, you may be tending to a death and it's like, I definitely don't have time for you. It's like when, for example, when my grandmama died, I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of like, I stopped doing certain things or going certain places because I just, it was time to evolve. That death brought so much for me. When my grandmama died and my grandpapa died, I'm telling you, 2012, really, I was obsessed with the Mayan calendar and what was coming from that. And spirit was preparing us because what came after that for me, 2012, 2013, 2014, I lost my grandmama in 2013. 2014, my grandpapa goes. It was like intense. It was an intense, intense time really intense super intense and i lost i lost a bunch of people i stopped talking to a bunch of people thank goodness for me i look back i'm like at least those people at that time i've lost more people in recent years i'm like those people were fucking nuts at least those people they were like we 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 lived through our death it was a good time while we had it it's transformed it's over it's never gonna be the same again for some of you, you may not talk to these people because they don't even, it's like you start a family and it's like, I can't be out here with fucking Emily running around with fucking Jennifer and Jessica and all these other bullshitters. I got my fucking wife and kids at home or as a woman, I got my fucking husband at home. The fuck am I doing out here with fucking these bimbos? I have a family. I mean, some people don't give a fuck, but you know, you care. <laughs> For some of you, you care. For some of you, you have a, a contract that you're hiding as well. For some of you, you may be changing work. You're ending a work situation and whoever you used to work with who, who were drama starters, um, you get to move forward. You have a new contract coming in. For some of you, you're avoiding people because you're really busy. For some of you, you're ending a contract. We've seen that resonation. Somebody really wanted to resign and you're looking for replacements and you are going to get a replacement. You have a replacement contract coming in for some of you. You have a new contract coming in. For some of you, you have communication, certainly. This is over and you have really good communication to come about a contract that you're really looking forward to. For some of you, you could have been messing around with people that you work with. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And they are really immature and pissed and really crazy too. And some of them, their mother is fucking involved. It's like, fuck. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is not that quinceañera wolf love energy. This is something else. For some of you, being cautious at work because there are a couple of young jerks that want to falsely accuse you of something uh, that are very, very arrogant. You have a well-meaning man involved in a situation. For some of you, you yourself are a well-meaning man and you're signing a contract. For some of you, you are signing a contract with a well-meaning man, a well-meaning organization. For some of you, people could be very envious because of what you do for a living. Something about doofy. Officers, you you are, it's like you're really envied for some of you. This energy has been very present of this contract that you're working on that you're going to get communication about very quickly for some of you. This is awesome, my lovies. For some of you, your father's here as well protecting you and ancestors here protecting you. Certainly, 
Spirit saying you won. You've won, my lovies. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You've won. And there's a well-meaning man who backs you as well. Or well-meaning king of hearts energy. Sometimes it's like if it's an organization that you're working with, it's like this is the dream job. This is like what you've worked hard for. Um, this is like this is the perfect opening. And it's opened for some of you by your grandfather. For some of you, you lost your granddad, Yuli. For some of you, you lost your granddad. A bunch of fucking spell workers, a bunch of bullshit here. This fucking female who pretends to be your friend, who's really fucking sick in the head. I told you, my lovies. All this person thinks about is money. Something about August. All this person thinks about is money. <sighs> Ten of clubs to the queen of diamonds to the queen of hearts. Certainly, uh, this person's sick in the head. Or this person, for some of you, can find out that this person's not doing well. For some of you, you can find out that a fake friend who pretends to be... It's making me cry a little, my lovies. For some of you, you really care. For some of you, I feel like you're crying of joy. For some of you, you really care about this person and it saddens you that you... It's almost like it's so obvious that they hate you, but you, for some reason, want to deny it. Like, you want to deny it? You have success. I felt success. I felt the ace of clubs. You want to deny it. You keep a pure heart, my lovies. Keep that pure heart. Keep that pure heart. I Keep that pure heart. But Spirit's going to move that pure heart away from these bullshitters. Who pretending like they're changing or like they're different. I don't see it. No future, not for you. They don't adore you. They're a liar. And for some of you, someone's a gold digger. Okay, boom, bye, good. That was interesting, my lovies. Something about an intrepid, a dodge intrepid. And they're trying to keep you trapped. It don't feel good. It didn't feel good. For some of you, someone's trying to keep you trapped in a dead-end job. For something about Subway for some of you. 2144. Sprung you. Someone wants to marry you, my lovies. But not right now. They're not ready yet. Sprung you, baby. I'll sprung you too. Oh, they got bored of they got bored. A Gemini is in love with you, my lovies. We got a Gemini who doesn't lie. What's up, Geminis? What's up with these brilliant Geminis, my lovies? Where are these brilliant Geminis? A healing bond. It felt real good. It, feel, it feels real freaking good. Ooh. It's making my nose water. It's making me want to have a daughter, my lovies. For some of you, there's a Gemini in your field. This could be you as a Gemini. The Gemini maybe lied a little bit, though. Or someone lied to the Gemini. I don't know. There's a little bit of lie in a situation. But this is a healing bond. This is a healing bond. Something about James Bond. I sprung you, baby. You sprung me, too. You sprung my eyes. <laughs> Oh, we got a fire sign, a, a Leo, a liar, a Leela. We got uh, a Leah. We got a Leo, uh, a liar. The Leo's a liar. Uh, and they put out a hit for hire. 25. Um, Ali Aaliyah. The 25 is seven energy. Cancer as well. Uh, a long distance move, a vehicle, um, traveling fast, moving forward fast, fire sign, travels, for some of you a lot of traveling. Fire sign, we have not a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio, but the water signs want to jump into. Fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, but a Sagittarius, a Gemini wants to sneak behind the Sagittarius. <laughs> Being cautious with that. <laughs> Because they are intimidated by your presence. We got people intimidated by your presence for some of you. For some of you, as a fire sign, you could be um, intimidating someone. For some of you, as a fire sign, you could be intimidated. For some of you, there could be fire signs intimidated by you. Because you're fucking smart as fuck. So these people try to undermine your intelligence for some of you. You got debt cons... A console for some of you a, a, a gaming console uh, for some of you debt consolidation for some of you uh, all by August you can start some type of debt consolidation I'm getting like those like um, again for some of you you've been really worried about your debt spirit doesn't want you to worry about that spirit wants you to be in flow and grow through all the seasons know how to work with a lot of money a little bit of money all types in my life I've seen fucking millions and millions I've also seen negatives and negatives so for some of you um, 
Um, you have to break the illusion of what money is and know how to move, move. For some of you, you know how to move in a room full of snakes. For some of you, you have board meetings. Um, I told you Sagittarius wants to jump right in. Um, a Sagittarius is in love with you, but um, the Sagittarius is, is uh, intimidated by your presence. But this Sagittarius can help you when it comes to debt consolidation. For some of you, I like the Sagittarius. I like how they feel. Um, this is also a very powerful person, but you are an also energetically powerful for some of you. This could be an enemy or a friend. Sagittarius energy is very playful energy, but when you're in Sagittarius energy, um, this is the archer for a reason. This person's a hunter. For some of you, someone's a hedge, uh, something about a hedge fund manager for some of you. Um, we do have a Sagittarius who's intimidated, but this person's very intelligent and you are too so for some of you you're dealing with someone who i'm not getting it in like a, a sexual relationship type of thing but it could be uh for some of you uh december into for some of you november excuse me late november into early december for some of you your nephew is involved in a situation as well for some of you you really love your nephew um, but, um, the way it's feeling, it's more like you're going to partner up with someone and they're intimidated by your presence, but they also fucking love your presence because they feel your power. This person is really intelligent. So this is the type of person, for example, this could be a boss for some of you, this wonderful female boss is expect, expect, expect. They're going to set the expectations. For some of you, you could be getting a new manager. Or for some of you, you could be working with a female in a work situation or um, or in an organization. Or some type of partnership with um, a woman who's technically, um, she has a higher rank than you. But this woman is not an, ego, an egomaniac. She's not. She's like... Um, you know, male, female, take it how it resonates. It is coming in as a woman, but this person is like a powerful person and this person's so secure within themselves. They're not afraid to empower others. I like this. For some of you, someone's going to hire a crooked lawyer. For some of you, there's a Sagittarius. For some of you, your father is going to hire a crooked lawyer. Just be cautious with that. We got, um, this is going to go in the corner though. For some of you, this crooked lawyer is arrogant. We have arrogant energy in the field. So for some of you, this crooked lawyer, when I got the egomaniac, I also got that there's energy in the field of an egomaniac. For some of you, a crooked lawyer is also an egomaniac. For some of you, be cautious because I don't think this crooked lawyer is going to get what they think they want. We got an abusive parent emotionally. For some of you, you have an emotionally abusive parent. For some of you, your father could be emotionally abusive. For some of you, this crooked lawyer is also an, immu an immune system. They have immune an immunodeficiency. AIDS? AIDS is coming in? Bon. Fudge. This is going to be a suicide mission. Errors and omissions. This 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 angel, the name angel or something about angel is coming in. Something about um what's that guy, Angelo? He's an artist. He had this video. It never I don't understand why people were so going crazy over this video. I found it actually kind of nasty and distasteful. I was also really young, but it was like he did this guy he was like in a dark room and he was singing and he had a, he was almost like naked it looked like he was naked and like they were showing his body his muscles and I, I guess like a lot of people loved this song and this video of I think his name was Angelo that's what they're showing me something about Michelangelo something about paintings something about Picasso's anyways they're gonna hire a crooked lawyer and this is a suicide mission it's not a good idea this crooked mission. This is a crooked mission. This is not a good idea. It's a suicide mission. Uh, this this person's emotionally abusive. And there's something about AIDS in the field. Uh, I don't know. Pretending they don't like what you did. But, ooh, for some of you, someone's pretending that they don't like what... <laughs> for some of you, someone's going to pretend like they don't like what you did. But they actually love it. Someone's trying to pay... pay they're trying to pay you. They're going to pay you. For some of you, someone's trying to play you. They're trying to play, like, poker face. Uh, pretending that they don't like what you did, but they actually loved it. Debt consolidation. No, for some of you, someone, someone thinks you're a genius. For some of you, in one year, there's going to be... You're going to need to speak somewhere. I did a preliminary for you. This was yesterday, but it didn't come up in the reading. Um, you're going to have to speak somewhere. It's coming up now. And um, 
There's going to be a woman who is not going to want you to outshine her. So she's going to sabotage an opportunity and she's going to get bad karma for that fucking airhead. People are so airheaded. Um, it's like, why are you so envious? I don't get it. Like holding others back so they don't perform, so they don't, they don't thrive because you know that they're more powerful than you or you think that they are anyway. We're all on the same level. Just different expressions of the same source. Anyway, someone's going to, in one year for some of you, you are you're going to have notoriety. Uh, you already do for some of you. For some of you, your business is going really well. For some of you, your business is about to fucking take off. And there's going to be a female. You're going to be invited to speak somewhere. A female is going to sabotage and deny you the opportunity because she is intimidated by you. That's how it came in. It came in as a female. But, you know, in one year, you'll know. Uh, May, you know, May to May, year over year. Um, this female is going to want to uh, deny you the opportunity she's gonna come up with whatever excuse whatever bullshit excuse she can come up with in her life uh but she's gonna get karma for that for some of you because someone's gonna deny you a big opportunity but no matter what you're still gonna be able to get another opportunity it's like oprah a lot of people closed the door on oprah's face and made her believe that she wasn't ready if oprah would have fell into the right hands earlier who knows what would have happened but spirit opened up the right door for oprah to be oprah in her life for some of you maybe you're a talk show host or something like that Anyways, for some of you, someone's going to pretend like they don't like what you what you did. But th these are the type of people then that will fucking stalk you, stalk your work, never give you credit where credit is due. And again, that's where their karma starts to accumulate. Because now, now, not only are you trying to block opportunities for somebody, you're trying to steal their opportunities too. So on a spiritual level, you're fucking stealing. You're stealing their intelligence. You're stealing their shine. You're stealing their energy. You're trying to copy and mirror their essence. And you don't have the same energetic, uh, you know, footprint or blueprint that they do everything is coming in for a reason for some of you someone's gonna pretend like they don't like what you did and they're gonna fucking love it and try to even steal it for some of you someone right now they love what you're doing and they're pretending like they don't for some of you someone has a crush on you and they're gonna be supercharged for some of you um, there's this more serious sinister person wants to sabotage you because they don't want you the way it came in they don't want you to outshine them that's not okay they're gonna be supercharged for some of you, debt consolidation. For some of you, you're going to go on vacation. For some of you, there's a suicide mission when it comes to a vacation. For some of you, because I also felt youngster energy. So for some of you, there's a suicide mission when it comes to a vacation to a dorm room. And there are holes in their story for a reason. I think someone's messing around with someone they've been messing around with since that person was a teen. La quinceañera, Teresa and Natalie. <laughs> Sprung you baby out. Someone's 18 or they're about to be 18. Someone's on the A team. I don't know if they're in love. I think the, I don't know. I think the little girl is more in love than anything. Because they're almost describing it like fucking prostitution energy. Someone could give them the, the, the child a lot of money. The letter Z. The letter X, Cisco, Cisco's food, Cisco Foods, Cisco Foods. Oh, something about a cafeteria worker was also in the field. Someone can have like a part time in the cafeteria or something like that. Um, someone's also a gym rat. <sighs> Luciferian. I think the child may be in love with somebody and they may think like this is a relationship because they don't know any better. And something about sweater weather. I don't know. They're going to be supercharged, supercharged. Top 10. Top 10 most, blah, 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 blah. Something's gonna be unexpectedly pleasant. For some of you, I was getting this energy in the preliminary. Like when you have conversations with someone that you don't expect to have conversations, some of the best conversations that I've had with people are people that it's like, I didn't expect 